Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Labratt and today I'm going to try writing like Brie Bonomo. A group of us got together, kind of organized by Brooke Wrights, to write out all of our writing routines into a spreadsheet and then kind of like a secret Santa thing, we like mixed up the names and then each person got a different person in the group to try their writing routine. And therefore, the writing routine that I'm trying today is Brie's. Brie's channel link will be linked down in the description box below as well as three of her videos that I really enjoy if you wanna go check out any of those after you finish watching this video. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a big thumbs up because it really helps my channel. And now without further ado, let's get into writing like Brie Bonomo. So Brie normally starts her mornings somewhere between 5am and 6am on a weekday and sleeps in until about 7am on the weekends. You know, I tried to do that today. Um, I set my alarm for 7am, which is her weekend time because even though today is Friday, I am on a weekend and I slept through my alarms until 9. So here we are. So I'm just going to continue on even though I already took an L for the day. And I'm going to start with lemon water because she starts her morning with lemon water and one cup of coffee with flavored creamer. Texas still has snow on the ground by the time I'm filming this, so I can't go out and get coffee because I actually don't have coffee in my apartment. So I texted Brie. She said that just doing lemon water was fine. She also tends to eat breakfast around 9 a.m., so I'm gonna have breakfast now instead of waiting like two or three hours after she wakes up because again, I woke up late. So we're just gonna try and keep up for the rest of the day. But it says on the weekend, she she sometimes likes to make French toast or pancakes around 10 a.m. And so I'm gonna start doing that. I did make pancakes yesterday and they were chocolate chip pancakes, which is what she prefers. So I'm gonna heat those up as I'm drinking my lemon water and then we will get into writing. Okay. Solid breakfast, I'm very happy with that. The lemon water and pancakes were delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that was much better than the breakfast that I had for the Sarah J Mass video because that was just not enough. This I was like very happy with. This is something that like I would choose to eat for breakfast on a day. But now after consuming that, I was looking over what Brie had filled out the spreadsheet with to find out that I've done a couple of things wrong so far. And what I mean by that is that between waking up and eating breakfast, she works out and gets ready for the day. So I did that a little bit backwards. However, she does say that she sits down to write right after she finishes eating breakfast on the weekends and she writes exclusively in her office slash library space. And so therefore I'm in my writing room right now. I have changed into her writing attire, which is an oversized baggy sweatshirt. Mine says bye, which I think is great. Brie likes to wear leggings when she writes. So I'm wearing joggers again, because I'm sure that this is for comfort and I don't think that leggings are comfortable, but baggy sweatshirt and pants basically. And she says that she sits down to write like immediately after eating breakfast. And she says if she can write uninterrupted with very few distractions, she can get all of her writing done for the day within an hour or two right after breakfast. So I'm gonna sit down and write and see what happens. She says that on days where she's not as focused or not as in the zone or just like purely just going for it. She'll write for about 30 minutes, take a 10 or 15 minute break to do some laundry or the dishes or something, and then she'll get back to writing. So she uses writing sprints on days where she's a little bit more distracted. So it's nice to know that I have that option and I don't have to get all of my words done in the next like hour or two. All of my words meaning she also gets somewhere between 2,000 and 2,500 words a day. Currently that sounds like a lot. I know that I can have days where I'm higher than that, especially now that I'm rewriting and not drafting, but those were her drafting numbers where 2,000 to 2,500 words a day, which I think is crazy, Brie. <laughs> so glad you can do it, but like amazed. After I'm done writing and or with this writing sprint, depending on how this goes, I will work out because she works out before breakfast and I messed that up. So I will work out and I'll touch on that more when I get to it. But she says that she cannot go throughout her day without a to-do list. So I need to write one down. to-do list for the day. First of all, keep working on this current video, writing somewhere between 2,000 and 2,500 words, working out, my live stream at 6 p.m. with Brooke, watching WandaVision, which is the TV show that Brie really likes right now and I'm really enjoying, and it's a Friday, so the new episode comes out today. I do need to pack of this stuff is a little bit out of order because I need to do laundry before I pack. I need to finish editing my Monday video, which also sort of includes finish filming for and filming the intro of. I need to rent a car for my trip. And then when Brie settles down for bed and starts relaxing, she likes to read for a while. So this is the ideal layout of my day or the rest of my day, I guess. So therefore we're gonna start with working on at least our first writing sprint and just seeing how it goes. Thank you. 
Something else that Brie says is that whenever she's running around the house, like cleaning or doing laundry, she does listen to an audiobook, which I am going to turn on while I'm doing my laundry. I'm currently listening to the four hour work week, which I'm finding very interesting. I just find myself wanting to take a lot of notes while I'm listening to it. So I'm gonna try this and see if it works for me. I started the laundry, I did my dishes and I did some Zumba. And let me tell you, I am warm and my blood is pumping. And that was very, very fun. And I kind of liked using it in between writing sprints, even though that's not technically what Brie does. Brie does it before writing, but I think that's gonna be good for me now going into my next writing sprint, if I can catch my breath for a second. But while I was doing my dishes, I was listening to the audiobook and they brought up Parkinson's Law in it. And Parkinson's Law is like my favorite freaking law on the planet. And it's just about being more efficient in the allotted amount of time that you have because you accomplish more in a tighter deadline because Parkinson's Law says that whatever you have to do will take up the amount of time that you have to do it. And it was talking about that in the sense of like a traditional eight to five job about like, why does everyone seem to need eight hours a day to accomplish their work? And then even when people have to like a doctor's appointment or they have to go pick up a child from school or something, they are still able to accomplish that same amount of work in maybe six hours instead of eight. And that's just because of Parkinson's law. And I thought that was so cool. And I personally adore Parkinson's law and I just need to figure out how to better apply it to my deadlines. It feels difficult to apply when there's not like exterior pressures, like writing a paper for school or something. I wrote a 12 page paper in 12 hours. That was my last college paper that I ever wrote, but it was a very solid paper, but I wrote it in 12 hours, not having read the book beforehand either. But because writing a book is such a long process that I don't know if I can apply that to a book that's like over a hundred thousand words because that just seems incredibly overwhelming. So I'm wondering if I need to reanalyze it and take a look at how I have been breaking down my goals and maybe break them down differently in the future or something. I'm not really sure, but I thought that that was so cool that they brought that up in the book and I wanted to mention it. Okay, I'm procrastinating. Let's get into this writing sprint. So I just ended up sprinting, if you can call it a sprint, for 40 minutes and ended up rewriting 1,049 words, which is insane. I'm feeling very good with like these intense concentration, longer sprints that are happening. And I'm kind of impressed by them actually, cause I've gotten about 1,800 words done for the day so far in an hour and 10 minutes. And I think that's ridiculous. It's awesome but it's crazy. I have not been feeling super distracted and I think that's feeling really good. I do still have between 200 and 700 more words to rewrite today before I hit the average that Brie writes within a day. But like she does, I'm going to stand up, take a break for like 10 or 15 minutes and then come back to this and do another writing sprint. I took my short break, not that you guys know that because there's absolutely no B-roll, but I'm back now like 20-ish minutes later and I'm ready to do another long-ish sprint. My computer's talking to me but I'm ready to do another longish sprint to potentially finish the last 200 to 700 words that I need to write to fit Bree's schedule. I might end up going over that because I am very close to hitting a milestone. That video you guys would have already seen if I did indeed hit it. Just putting this out there for myself. And then we can move into some of the other things that I need to do. Like I need to pack. I have a live stream at 6.30 that I'm going to be reading on. Bree is currently enjoying watching WandaVision. The new episode comes out tonight, so I'm gonna get to watch that or comes out today, but I'm watching it tonight. And then I probably need to do a little bit of like video editing or something, and then I'll get to read before bed. So feeling good about the to-do list so far. And so now let's start sprint number three, I guess. It feels like I've done more sprints because I've gotten so many words in already. Maybe that's something I need to try in the future is sprinting only using long sprints. <laughs> I just finished my third sprint of the day, which was a 25 minute long sprint, and I ended up rewriting 871 words. That means I have rewritten 2,680 words total for the day in just three writing sprints, and those three writing sprints have totaled up to be an hour and 35 minutes of writing for the day. I'm very happy with that. I am also like less than 300 words away from hitting a very major milestone, so I will probably keep writing a little bit more because I really want to hit that today because I'm very excited about it. Ideally, considering that I do finish this today, that video will have been posted on Monday. So I will link it up in the cards and down below if you wanna go check out my journey to reaching 100,000 words in the rewrite, but I'm so excited. 
I have now written more than 2,000 or 2,500 words, so I'm gonna cross that off, but I am gonna add to the bottom of the list that I want to pass 100,000 words today. My writing break ended up turning into me working on editing a video, and then I was getting very, very hungry, and I remembered that Brie eats dinner at around 5.30, and so I went and I picked up dinner. I have officially secured the bag. <laughs> and then while I eat this, I'm going to watch WandaVision, and then right about the time that ends, I will be starting my reading live stream tonight with Brooke. Okay, I'm back from eating dinner now. I got back a few minutes after the stream was supposed to start, so I'm now on the live stream. We are doing our first reading sprint right now. I'm obviously not reading it, but I have the ebook on my phone. However, I did wanna cross a couple of things off of my to-do list, so I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm now done with the reading live stream that I had this evening. Ended up hanging out and talking to my co-hosts for a while. And so now it's like 9.30. Bree says that she starts like settling down for bed around nine. So I would say that that was a relaxing activity, but on a good night, Bree says that she likes to read. On a bad night, she says that she watches TikTok. I definitely feel that. I'm gonna try to make tonight not a TikTok night. So I think I'm gonna settle in and read a bit. Because I did start like two hours later than I was supposed to today, I was not able to incorporate some of what Bree does in her evening evenings, which is either writing or gaming live streams because she streams her gaming on Twitch sometimes, which I think is really cool. I honestly though have a console, but it's like the Wii that I grew up with. And that's because my parents were going to get rid of it and I wanted to keep it because it has like one of my absolute favorite games on it. So I was kind of hoping I would get to play that today, but it doesn't look like I'm going to. I'm honestly not even sure the Wii is plugged in right now and that I even know how to do that. So uh, guess we're not doing that tonight, but I did want to mention that that's part of what Brie does with her schedule. Other than that though, for the the rest of the evening. I would say that writing went really, really well today. I probably will break Bree's schedule a little bit and just try to cross the milestone that I'm like so freaking close to in this draft, but then I'll settle down for bed and start to read. Something else that I forgot to mention about Bree's writing routine is that she takes random dance breaks throughout the day, and I love that. I feel like I did that a little bit with doing Zumba, but I think she also does it outside of that. But I was dancing a little bit when I was getting ready for the day, which I think counts. But I like the idea of like dispersing my day with just like some random dance breaks. Okay, so that was a day trying to write like Brie Bonomo. I really liked what she ate for breakfast, that she sat down after eating breakfast, at least on the weekends, to immediately start writing. I liked how it seems like she tries to use slightly longer writing sprints to get her words in, or if she's having a really good day that she just gets all of her words in for the day. I really admire the fact that she tries to shoot for 2,000 to 2,500 words a day. I just think that's mind boggling. I was kind of bummed that on the day that I tried this out, I did wake up a couple hours later, so I wasn't able to do a couple of the things that she likes doing in the evenings, like dance breaks and playing video games, but I might just have to try that at some point in the future. Like I said earlier, if you wanna check out Bree's channel, her channel link is gonna be listed in the description box below, along with three videos that I really like of hers if you wanna check any of those out. That being said, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel by telling the YouTube algorithm that you liked my video and that someone else might too. If you are new here and enjoyed this video and want to see more videos from me, make sure you scroll down below, hit that big red subscribe button and that little notification bell next to it so you don't miss another upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye!